Hello, here is Angela Tucker again, talking with my English friends. And some people yesterday asked me about the case Roger Abdel Masi. They would like to know a bit better. Okay, Roger was a doctor, IVF doctor in vitro fertilization medicine, very famous in Brazil, and uh, he was condemned by the to 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 rape to abuse uh, 50 something women the condemnation was in, indeed about three, 38 women 38 all right and then some prescribed and then the condemnation from 278 uh, years uh, dropped to 181 years and uh, he is house arrested because uh, he is really sick uh, with a cardiac condition. All right. And today I'm going to tell a very a, a case, just one of the cases, because uh, it's a combination of bad press, bad journalism, bu virtual bullying, which is something a bit difficult to explain now, and the bad, bad woman, woman who went there to say, he did this to me, he raped me, he, he abused me, and this is not truth. They, there are, I discover proofs that they are not saying the truth, and I discover contradictions, because most of these women, at least 22 of those, that of the 38 or the 50, doesn't matter, they went to the press during 10 years, the last 10 years, to say Abdel Masi is a monster, Abdel Masi is this, you know, of course, and the press publishing, and the social media, pa. And during this process, to go here, to go there, TV and radio, internet and newspapers and magazines, they said, different things to these guys, to the journalists. At sometimes at the same week. Ah, but uh, she forgot. They, they, uh, one of these women, she said that uh, I, I am exaggerating. It was a detail. It was a, a coma. In Portuguese we say virgula. Little things. Oh yeah, little things. So let's see. In my book, I dedicate more than 100 pages to these little things. Little things that made a big difference or can make a big difference between false allegation and defamação. Uh, when you say some, something bad about some, somebody and that's not true. I, I need to see. Defamação. Oh, Google alerts. Well, so the, these little things makes a big difference. These little things can 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 leave these women, some of them, to jail, because uh, in Brazil, as in other, any other place, to commit false testimony is a crime. Is a crime. All right. And now uh, one of those women, she tried to have babies there in 1999. And you see what a coincidence. In 1999, she made a package of three uh, attempts, because Roger used to sell a package, three attempts. If you were pregnant in the first, uh, the first cycle, okay. Otherwise, you have the chance to try two other times for the same price. All right. And she said that the second attempt, he abused her. She said that she woke up from the anesthetic, uh, with his penis in her hands, and he uh, ejaculated, uh, and then she said, oh, she did something, and uh, he went back, he composed herself, so, so she accused him to masturbate with her, or sometimes she said it was with her hands, sometimes she said what uh, it was with his hands, sometimes she said what was both her hands, uh, with uh, his sperm. Sometimes there is no sperm. We really don't know. All right. Um, ten years after this happening, 
she went to the press. She was one of the first in the press to say Abdelmasid did this to me and I put my face. And she put her face at the press during 10 years. If you go to press and if you go to Google and put her name, thousands, thousands of, uh, uh, of this woman, um, thousand times, no? sorry, of this woman selling, saying what he did, how he did, and every time there is something little different. For instance, she said that uh, her doctor, the doctor she went after Jorge, because she said she stopped the treatment, and that's not true. That's not true. She paid for three treatments, and she did the three treatments, and she said no, it was just to when. So, just a moment, you are abused by a, a doctor and you keep going to, to his clinic and you don't say anything to your husband. The husband is the last one to know. Okay, she went to the press, she denounced him, she went to the judge, she denounced him saying the same story about masturbation with a little difference here and there that, uh, all right, is a detail, is a, is a coma, all right, a coma, all right. But uh, last December 2018, what, look at this. She went again to a TV program, has the main men reportage, she and her sister, the sister 20 years uh, younger than her. And look at this. The reportage is exclusive. We have... A, well, my, my pen dropped it. Um, we have the reportage of the week. Two women, two sisters. They were abused by the two biggest more famous abuse, sexual abusers in Brazil. One by Roger Abdelmasi and the other one by John of God. Oh, wow. You know John of God from Abadiana, the spiritual healer, Brazilian spiritual healer, worldwide no. He's, a being, he's in jail now, very, very, uh, because he is being accused of uh, uh, rape, abuse 600 women so far i have to 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 check this out but that is not that and uh apart the coincidence what the woman they abused by Roger Abdelmasi she said that uh, this time she said that uh, Roger was not masturbating or using her hand, hands to masturbate no 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 he, he was on top of her huh? dead in the dead in the clinic the clinic on top of her inside her you know the penis into the vagina that uh, the 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 bat car and the bat I don't know how to say that okay he was raping her. This time, he was raping her. And then you ask me, but uh, where is the truth? He masturbated or he raped? Because uh, this is not a coma, yeah? Or I'm exaggerating. You say uh, 10 years ago, you said that uh, the guy masturbates, use you, your image, your body, to masturbate and then whilst you were sleeping and then 10 years after the guy was inside you why this to give more emotion to give more uh, let's say property to the story in the in the TV ah okay Poor victim, no. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for these people who are victim and they don't and don't have a good memory. To be a victim, 
and to do false allegations, I think you have to have at least good memory, no? Well, you tell me what you think, all right? And uh, we keep in touch. Beijo. Bye-bye.